Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Fraser, and this is a practical introduction to Git. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the parts of Git. So this is sort of the structural components, specifically with reference to using Eclipse as the interface to, you, to using Git. Um, later videos, we'll talk about how to actually use the different parts. So to begin with, what do we have? Well, we always have our development PC, shown here at the bottom. Well, in our development PC, we're then going to have our working directory, it's called. So our working directory is going to have our files in it that we're going to edit, and generally we're going to be editing these with Eclipse. So in this tutorial, we're assuming you're using Eclipse for everything. Now, when you start to work with a group, you start using source code control, and you then talk about a remote server. So the remote server is going to have on it the repository. This repository is going to save the history of all the files, the changes that have been made, it's going to manage control and the version information. In my case, this is going to be GitHub. Now when you're working with Git, another important factor comes into play. Not only do you have this remote repository up top, and you've got your working directory where you actually make the changes, but also you have a local repository. So this local repo maintains information about the server, as well, the system as well. Git is a distributed source code control system, and here we have the two repositories. Neither repository is in any way sort of uh, running the show, shall we say, but we're going to make work mo mostly with this local repository. Now for us, this happens to be included with Eclipse. It is JGit, uh, Java implementation of Git. Um, it's present. We don't really need to worry about it. Through the magic of Git, it provides that for us. Now, throughout our development, What's generally going to be happening is we're going to be working with this repository. We're going to be checking ch code into it, and we'll be checking code out of this local repository. So this is all local. All local changes. So most of the stuff is going to be local. Only occasionally we'll be interacting with the remote server up here. So the remote server will occasionally push a change up to it, and will pull down changes. But this will happen much less frequently than our local interaction. Most interactions with Git are going to happen on a local basis. Now how this is all going to be structured, how we can actually accomplish this, well, in my series of tutorials, we're going to use the Eclipse IDE for almost all of the interactions. Uh, the basic Git tutorials, a lot of published literature on it, use the command line, uh, which is incredibly powerful, um, but the um, graphical user interface is very approachable and easy to pick up. So later tutorials, we'll see how to um, walk through these. Check the comments in the section below, uh, and it will give you links to a page that will list all of the different videos in this sequence.